Sarah L says, why does Robin want Mary to stay so badly? Is it a religious belief that they must be living polygamy? Who are the moms have left the church? Has your dad left? Um, as a family, it doesn't seem like we talk a lot about, like, who's in the church and who's not. I think most of us are basically out of the FLDS church. I think Robin wants Mary to stay so badly because if Mary is gone, it just solidifies more to the fact of, of what Robin believes as the family being, like, over and completely separated. Hey everyone, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Monday, February 13th, 2023, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. So I just finished up a video about the Duggars and I had to make a correction to the video. So if you just watched that video, make sure to see the pinned post with the details. And I noticed a lot of people in the comments were like, talking about homeschooling versus public education. And I wanna just remind all my viewers that I am not against education of homeschoolers. We talk about homeschooling when it relates to the Duggars because of their reliance on the IBLP curriculum and the fact that the family did not put a priority on education. Uh, if we talk about homeschooling in any other capacity, that's it. We're not talking about if you homeschool, and I'm also not going after anyone that chooses to homeschool. So this video we are going to talk about is all about Mary Brown and Robin Brown. So a lot of people have wondered what the fallout would be once Mary and Robin, you know, broke up. Because really what's been happening is that Cody and Robin are still together, and Mary Brown has left the family, or she's left Cody. I guess she's left the family too. So Cody and Mary's relationship actually ended way back in 2014, 2015, but for some reason they wanted people to believe that they still had some sort of semblance of a marriage even though they did not. And Mary maintained a position on the show despite the fact that she and Cody had not been in an intimate relationship for more than a decade. And on top of that, uh, she and Cody didn't even cohabitate, share a home for more than five or six years. So there was a lot of, you know, it was no surprise when they finally announced the split and there was no surprise following the season when Christine finally made the decision to leave Cody and divorce him uh, that the other marriages would follow suit. There's been a lot of speculation for years that the family had been split up and that a lot of this was for con contractual purposes and that they were basically faking a lot of this for the show. So anytime you want to talk about reality television, we have to remember that the show is a highly edited show where producers are putting together storylines and families are placed into different scenarios and then they videotape or they film those scenarios. Some conversations are more organic than others, but the whole thing is built and storylined ahead of time. So they kind of know what's going to happen going into the season. So when it comes to the way the last few seasons were filmed, this was a more real presentation per se of what was going on because we actually saw the fallout. And apparently with the way that this has played out, there's been a very deep fallout in the family. Although I don't know how deep it runs because it seems like some sides of the families are still interacting where others are not. So a lot of people wondered what was going to happen if Mary left and whether or not she would stay close with her sister wife, Robin. If you are well aware of this group, they were a polygamous family and Mary was the head wife for decades. <laughs> and she was the one that brought in other wives into this group. In the Apostolic United Brethren, instead of doing arranged marriages, they actually have this thing where a woman, a wife will go search for a new wife for their husband and like say, you should go look at this girl or you should talk to this girl. They're kind of like the bait. It's their duty to bring in new wives. Mary's duty for years was to bring in Cody new wives. When Mary's marriage was kind of like at a really bad place and Christine happened to be pregnant with her sixth child, Mary had the decision uh, 
that Cody needed a new wife. And she found Robin believing that Robin was going to be like the answer to her, you know, her prayers, because by the time she brought Robin on her relationships with the other wives had been basically soured because there was a big fallout in the family around 2008 related to some disputes with the kids that Mary was never able to recover her relationships with the other sister wives. And a lot of the kids don't have a relationship with Mary today. So Robin came in as Mary's idea that she was going to be her new sister wife, the best friend, the sister wife she always wanted. And obviously that worked for a little while until it didn't. And now that the relationship is over, you know, this last season we saw Robin very much trying to keep Mary in, saying like, we need to rebuild, hang in there with me, don't leave Mary, we need to stick this out. And Mary saying, I'm hanging on, I'm hanging on. And then Robin making comments like, well, I wouldn't blame her if she left. So when you uh, realize that Robin was in some ways trying to keep Mary in, one of the things that fans believed was part of that was because they needed her income. Another aspect is that obviously fans felt like, you know, they need to keep the show. And if Cody doesn't have sister wives, will the show go on? So the show is supposed to be about a polygamous family that was part of the Apostolic United Brethren, part of the FLDS, their fundamentalist LDS, not to be confused with the actual FLDS, which is a branch of or a, a cult that was run by Warren Jeff Jeffs, but more like the fundamentalist Latter-day Saints is what they would refer to themselves as. So the AUB was a breakoff sect and it was originally uh one of the main prophets for the longest time was christine's grandfather and she was you know her father was a son of the prophet and she was a granddaughter of the prophet and cody was attracted to christine because of that and you know the whole mission of the show was to help normalize polygamy after everything came out about warren jeffs and make it seem like polygamy wasn't as bad as we were seeing on tv and they wanted to make it legal in the state of Utah. Now, what they ended up proving is that there's a lot of issues within uh, polygamy that we've learned that marriages are not equal. We've learned that Cody had favorites. We've learned and seen the dynamics between the wives and how they jockey for position. We saw how Robin came in and kind of manipulated her way and, and tried to work the system to get the attention from Cody that she wanted for her kids and what she needed. And a lot of that was is very typical in the polygamy world. Uh, the dynamics between wives is common. They, they're competing for attention. They're competing for resources. They're co competing with each other. So a lot of people believed on the show, oh, everyone gets along. Although after a few years, you started to see that they didn't all get along, right? So you started to see that there was these huge fractures in the relationships. Well, Robin and Mary, they seemed to like stick together and they were kind of like this dynamic duo that people thought were like, oh, they're best friends. And after Mary's catfishing incident, a lot of people saw that they kind of, Mary started to distance herself from the family. And then after the fallout with her legal divorce from Cody, it never seemed like Mary really recovered that closeness with anyone, including Robin. Even though they tried to make it seem like they were still close, uh, it was obvious that Mary was obviously moving in a different direction as the family. She was only showing up for like every events every so often. And really it was just like a fil film, filming relationship. But now that the relationship is over, um, somebody was asking Gwendolyn Brown whether or not she believed that if Cody or if Mary and, and Robin are still close. And Gwendolyn does not think they even have a relationship. Check it out. Jessica Butler says, are Robin and Mary actually as close as they seem? I think they were, but now I no longer think they are because if I was in Mary's position, I wouldn't actively try to be like super close with the woman who my ex-husband is with. Um, it's a popular opinion that R and K mostly want her to stay for her income. <gasps> oh my God. That actually makes a lot of sense. Um, I don't know about that, but it would make a lot of sense if it were true. So when a woman leaves the world of plural marriage and polygamy, it's nearly impossible for her to maintain a relationship with any of the sister wives that stay back with the husband. And that's because women that leave are slandered. They are 
uh, harassed. They are driven over the bus, like the bus drives right over them. They're called bad people. They're called dangerous. They are shunned. You've seen quite a bit of people speaking out against Mary. And I think that's sort of a byproduct of the way it works when someone leaves polygamy. But some of the people speaking out have also left polygamy. So it's also a byproduct of this family. But anyone that stays with Cody is not going to be in contact or have a relationship with someone that has left Cody because Cody has to maintain control. And for Mary's part, if she were to stay in a relationship with Robin and Cody, it's a hard way for her to move on. Like, how do you move on in your life by maintaining a close friendship with the woman that's married to your ex-husband? Like Gwendolyn said, it's it would be nearly impossible. I think from what I understand from Kristen Decker is that, you know, when a woman is in a polygamous relationship, it's hard to be friends when you're married to the same man. It's easier when the man is out of the picture, which is what you're seeing with Christine and Janelle. When they were still both in love with Cody, it was they were not very close. But once they grew further and further apart from him and went out on their own, they became better friends. But they're still not like BFFs. I mean, they're yes, they're close. But you know, they're still, they still have their own families on top of that. And they probably have their own friendships outside of each other. When it comes to Mary, she doesn't, she only has one child in common with the family in the family. That's Leon. Leon doesn't seem super close or connected to really anyone at this point in the show in the family. Uh, I don't believe Leon has any plans to be on the show anymore. I don't think Leon and Audrey have any plans to like show the rest of their story. I know a lot of the older kids have made the decision to stop filming and not wanting to be a part of the reality show spectacle. And if Mary's child isn't going to be on the show, if Mary's storyline is over with Cody, there's not a high prob probability that she would have a lot of interaction with the family. Uh, she doesn't spend time with them for the holidays, and she really does have like her own life outside of Sister Wives at this point. This idea that Mary and Robin are still going to be besties, I would agree with Gwendolyn, probably not. When it comes to her uh, her reaction to Cody and Robin, not uh, maybe wanting Mary to stick around because of the money, this is actually, I believe, because of literal co literal comments Cody made on the show. So he was, you know, saying that he really wants Mary's input because he really needed her for the Coyote Pass situation. Like they don't have the money to pay off that property without her income. And she does make the most money. Gwendolyn did say in the same, in the same questions that the family makes a lot of money from the multi-level marketing products that they sell. Uh, and in the same breath, she also said that unless you have a platform uh, like her parents who have been able to use their platforms to sell to people, uh, she wouldn't recommend getting involved in one because if you don't have anyone to sell to and you don't have like a large platform, you're not going to be successful. So basically, indirectly, she didn't really say this without saying this, but said that if you join my mom's downline and you don't have a platform, you're probably not going to be successful. So it's indirectly kind of predatory, but she doesn't believe it is. Anyways... Uh, they make a lot of money from these MLMs, and because of that, they've relied on that for the family, and Mary's very successful with her LuLaRoe. So knowing all of that, hearing her say that maybe Robin and Co Cody wanted her around for her money, she said it, it made sense. But in fairness, I don't think Gwendolyn knows a ton about really a lot of the inner workings and the dynamics. She even said in the same video that a lot of the stuff that she's been watching this season she wouldn't have really been privy to uh, because she's a child and a lot of these are adult conversations that she would have known nothing about. As far as what her dad does for work, she flat out said her dad works in guns and he doesn't like, she, she speculates that he doesn't like to talk about it because of the political ramifications around it. She also mentioned uh, that she likes her father less after watching the season because of the way he's treating people, the way he's speaking about people. She also doesn't like the way that they're speaking about each other, like all of them. And she happens to like Robin more. So, uh, and Robin crying is apparently just Robin. That's just who she is. She's a crier. So that's what I have for now. Uh, Mary and Robin are not friends and Mary and Cody and Mary or Cody and Robin might have wanted Mary around for her money. And Gwendolyn says, don't join my parents MLMs unless you have a platform. What are your thoughts? Tell me in the comments below. Bye guys.